in Santa Barbara County. So how extraordinary was the storm? Was this something you expected? This was a pretty major storm. In fact, the uh, obviously with the thunder uh, and wind and rain, of course, this is a very significant lightning event. And a lightning event like this is something we haven't seen in many years. Uh, it's been recorded that there's been thousands of lightning strikes uh, over the two counties and over into our neighboring county over in Kern. And as a result, uh, that's impacted our electrical equipment. It's caused nearly 100,000 customers to be without power. So our crews have been working around the clock uh, since yesterday to restore power safely and as quickly as possible. All right, thank you so much for that information. That was Blair Jones for PG&E. And as crews continue restoring power, PG&E has some ways to help you prepare for further outages. Have battery-operated flashlights and radios with fresh batteries handy. Also, freeze water in plastic containers to make blocks of ice, which can then be used to be put in your fridge to keep food from spoiling. And if you see a downed power line, keep yourself and others away. Just call 911 and PG&E's 24 emergency hotline at one 800 740 35002. And tropical storm known as Dolores has been active more than 700 miles south of Los Angeles, but we're still seeing its effects across Southern California. You're looking at mudslides happening at Fraser Park, about 75 miles northeast of Ventura. The storm has already brought beach closures, flash floods, and power outages this weekend alone. A flash flood warning was issued earlier this weekend and will continue through Monday in the mountains of Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. And the summer monsoon caused a muddy mess in the town of Wickenburg. That's about 65 miles northwest of Phoenix. Saturday storms dumped between 2 and 4 inches of rain in hours in parts of the city. No injuries have been reported, but the town's emergency plan has been activated. And also, there's a threat of even more wet weather ahead. Take a look at this live shot over the Santa Maria Valley. There's some ominous dark clouds teasing us with the potential of more rain. Will we get it? Well, Sean Queen is in our first alert weather center with some answers. Hello, Nia. Yeah, we're definitely seeing some more energy out there. You can see on our, our local radar, a lot of the energy that came through today for uh, portions of, uh, say, San Luis Obispo County, now well up into Northern California. But we are beginning to see the first inklings of the next wave of energy, and that is definitely the remnants of Dolores. What we saw a lot yesterday and the day before was uh, the typical monsoon that just got a little bit close to us. Now we're going to start to see the effects of that dying storm again. Dolores beginning to work its way toward us. Also very, very warm today with the extra sort of unexpected sunshine. We had a little bit of break in the action. That sunshine got down to the ground, really warming places up. A lot of 90s. Santa Barbara as well throughout much of the interior areas. We definitely got very, very hot out there with that humidity feeling very uncomfortable, not seeing much in the way of a sea breeze now. And again, as we sort of pull back out, there it is right there, a lot of Dolores energy sort of pluming up into the SoCal Bight, Southern California, if you will, beginning to already go past Palos Verdes, working its way into Santa Monica Bay. Pretty soon, it's going to start knocking on the door of Ventura County, and then as well, for just about all of us. So again, I'll be back in just a moment. We'll talk more about the details of what to expect. We're really keeping a very close eye on all this tropical activity. And as well, we have the answer to when we might see some normality coming back in, in the form of uh, maybe more sunshine, a little bit drier, and maybe even some marine there for the coastal areas. And again, all that in just a few moments. Nia? Yeah? We've got heavy traffic on Highway 154 this evening. Both directions are still closed after a motorcycle and vehicle collide, leaving one person dead. Santa Barbara County Fire responded near the Windy Gap area after 4 this afternoon. Several witnesses tell us the cyclist was headed southbound on Highway 154 at a high speed rate. They then said he crossed the double yellow line and slammed head on with a vehicle headed northbound. Both passengers in the vehicle escaped with minor injuries, but the motorcyclist was pronounced dead on scene. California Highway Patrol is now investigating the accident site. And a public outpouring today for a puppy tortured to death. Hundreds of people attended a vigil and march to protest what they call a light sentence given to the abuser. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez has the story. One by one, people came to the Santa Barbara Courthouse Sunken Gardens to stand up for a puppy tortured to death. Well, Davey doesn't have a voice, but we are his voice. So when we show up, each and every one of us, we make a difference. The five-month-old Doberman Pinscher was mutilated by Duan Yin Chen, who pleaded guilty to felony charges. There was not one bone that wasn't broken, including his spine. Then